Hi, welcome to the shop. This is the third operation on the part that we saw in the previous video. The second operation is pretty boring. It's just countersinking the other side. This is a little bit more interesting. We're going to be cutting the full profile, full width, 3 8 inch, 6061 T6 aluminum at 3000 RPM, 8 inches per minute. This is using the 3 flute Lakeshore Carbide Zirconium Nitride Cutter. And the cut appears to be going very smoothly. As I learn to use the machine, I'm finding it interesting that many people say aluminum with carbide cutters requires extremely high surface feet per minute. Maybe on a different machine with more horsepower and more rigidity, I could run faster. But on the Tormach PCNC 1100, running at full speed of 5140 results in a lot of chatter. At 3000 RPM, it's pretty quiet, the cut seems smooth, and the spindle horsepower is very reasonable. It's interesting that I don't get any chatter when doing the full depth cut, but when the cutter reaches the end of the material and becomes a bit unbalanced, I get a bit of chatter. I've seen that Lakeshore Carbide has a specially made aluminum roughing tool. I might try that next time. This part of the profile is a long full depth cut that produces a lot of chips. Looks like the flood coolant is keeping it under control, even though it looks a bit scary, and maybe someday I'll put an air blast system on just to blow them away, because who knows, maybe they might cause a problem sometime, but in the parts that I've made so far, even though it looks like they're going to get clogged, the part completes successfully every time. I'm just blowing away a few of the chips to make it a little clearer to see what's going on. Now we're going to do the finish pass at 20 inches per minute. And I move away the waste piece so you can see what's going on. It actually completes the part successfully if I don't blow the chips and don't touch anything. But it seemed like it would be a better view if I cleaned it up a little bit. So yes, it has run unattended. 
I'm not sure I'm happy about this. I'm thinking that an air blast to get some of the crud out of the way might make things a little safer and a little better, but it does successfully produce a part without any intervention. It's hard to see from the video with this angle and this degree of compression, but the surface finish is excellent. Far better than I was getting from my bridge port. Of course, my bridge port was old and I think it had some slop in the ball screws. Every time it reversed direction, it produced a little divot. And there we have it. The outer profile is finished. A couple of more operations and the part will be finished. Bye-bye.